National 2022 reports track growth and downtown Nashville leaders say a new report backs up what a lot of people are seeing when it comes to the economic success of this area. Nikhil Smith is live on Broadway to explain what the data shows. Hey, good morning. Yeah, the Nashville Downtown Partnership, their leaders are saying that this report shows not only do people want to visit downtown Nashville, but they want to live here and they want to work here as well. Let's take a closer look at those numbers now for the second quarter of this year. Office vacancy has actually gone down from the first quarter to the second quarter of this year. Nashville is at 10% with a total office inventory of about 17.8 million square feet. That's while Charlotte and Tampa are at 13%. Indianapolis is at 19%. 19% in Austin, Texas is at 21% office vacancy. Now, I talked with NDP Director of Economic Development, Chrissy Cassidy, and she says they've doubled the amount of retailers that came downtown from the first quarter of this year to the second. There are 31 new retailers and restaurants in the pipeline ready to open before the end of the year. Downtown is a great story for Nashville and for Middle Tennessee. Um, I think what people realize is, you know, forget is that Half of all sales tax in Davidson County is collected downtown. And downtown Nashville makes up less than a half of a percent of Davidson County. So downtown really pays for itself and it pays for a lot of other things too. She says another measure for how things are going in downtown Nashville, economically speaking, is by the amount of cranes that you see in above the skyline. And right now, there are about 39 cranes up above downtown Nashville. Reporting live on Broadway, Nikhil Smith, News 2.